Dr. Tyriel Sylvanas. Does Sylvanas help supplement a lot of what Illidan is trying to do? And does Tyriel allow for his team to stay alive and to be in team fights as opposed to a Johanna there? That's so good. Well, they are rotating over. It is going to be the Sentinel build coming out from Taronda. And again, this is going to be changed really soon. We'll probably see Battle Momentum, you know, continue to spec into it one and four. And then Battle Momentum at seven. The stuns do come down. Needham going to be just fine. Not able to land that flare there. But Tops are going in. That is where T-God comes from. Did you see that turnaround? The Punisher, because he's now going to be coming back in. He's going to dive in. DPL Druids going in. KO on that backside. He's going to be able to shift out on Tassadar. But Tiger JK very low as well. The stuns coming in. Hunter's Mark out on Tomster, but the shield's there. He Keeping everybody alive. Sleepy Bear very low on the backside. Slam going in. Zix does use the Dwarf Toss to get to that backside. Takes it down. He is going to pay. But Uther goes down. And that is a huge loss right now for RFS. But level 10 now has been picked up for RFS. Uther is going to rotate up. Rhaegar still not here. Nesper going to go in deep now. Goku in a little bit of trouble. Does pap pap Wrath, Wrath of the Berserker going in there. Starfall coming down. The damage starting to go out. Thompson getting in very deep. Getting return damage on him. Ancestral healing going to be coming out there. And you can see the fight rages on. Goku in very deep. Nesper trying to get back. And you can see RFS willing to retreat and concede that fight for the moment. But they are about to start back up here, Baba. And now we see Zix continuing to do damage, but starting to get a little bit low on mana. They only have another eight Guardians to kill, and it does look like this is going to be in their favor. Tomster, though, turns right around and just obliterates Sylvanas, and he continues the assault as he does survive. But Tomster is finally going to fall to Illidan. And so two members down for RFS, continuing to wage war as RFS here. But the Punisher has now been picked up. For Tempo Storm. Almost probably could have landed the Storm Bolt there. But Nesper rotating down. They're going to contend here. Starfall has come down. Tiger JK taking a bit of damage. The stun by Zix. But that does get picked up. Tyrion Tyrion goes down top. Going down on top against Sonya there. So a back and forth all over the map right now, Baba. Yeah, the fight is going to start here. We see Nesper staying very aggressive on Illidan, but Zix diving in, trying to body for his team. Again, look for Tomster to dive in and look for a kill. The minute somebody seems vulnerable, Needham is using his or his wave there. Not able to Nesper diving in. Once again, Starfall coming down. Rather, the Berserker coming out with Goku in that back line, but Percival getting a little bit low here on Tyrion. Can they keep him alive? Sanctification has been used, but is it going to be enough as they're continuing the fight here? Ancestral being used on Goku, who's going to turn around and take down Taronda, and Sylvanas the next to fall. Ethics is going to be in a lot of trouble. Tomster very low. He does get his cleanse to get out of there, and you can see Nesper trying to stay in on Illidan to stay alive, but down goes Illidan. It's going to be a Frozen Punisher pushing directly onto the core. Nesper trying to stay in to do damage, and you can see Needham is going to get stunned out there. Has to be very careful, but Percival on this backside. Tyrion's going to fall, and that could very easily secure the game here, Bob Abui. Yeah, I think this game is pretty much done. 20 talents came through. I don't see a way RFS can out damage the enemy team, especially when you have this much healing and sustain as well as 20 talents and hardened shields. It just, it's just game right now. I don't really know what else to say about it. Yeah, I mean, RFS held strong in the early game. They weren't able to capitalize through that mid game. And then the minute Tempo got that level 10 advantage, they never let go. And every time that RFS got on an even talent tier, those fights were so close. And yeah. then it was just a matter of they couldn't seal the deal. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it does work a lot better. I mean, it, it was basically um, a controlled draft, I think, by RFS in terms of what they forced. Opting to kind of have this trade for we're going to get top pressure. Oh, Nesper. Oh, he just dies. That was the bait they were waiting Tassadar for, down but too. down at the bottom, Tassadar goes down. All four members rotated down for RFS, so a little bit of trade here. They're going to do more work if you have more damage done in the bottom. Oh, nice barrel roll by Goku, but the stun has come out. The damage coming out is not going to be enough. Oh, it Ow. does go down. The owl secures the kill there, Baba. Yeah, and you can see the living bomb there. Tiger JK trying to separate himself. Zix going to rotate to the back with that... Warp toss, but now you can see getting stunned out there. Sleepy Bear in a little bit of trouble. Gets the heals. Taronda going to be able to keep herself alive, but not for very long if she's not careful. Tiger JK going in deep. You can see the Condemn going to pull him down. False, or excuse me, uh, Kel'Thas going to be the first to fall there. Tiger JK going to back up. Another snipe almost takes down Tiger JK, but a heal comes in right at the end of it as well. False Dad says, I can be anywhere at any time. Percival starting to rotate over. Tomster KO in the fight here. The stun is returned, but Condemned going to grab two members. No Lunar Flare landing. Again, it's very even right now. Was that a... Fly comes in for a 4v5. 
Yeah, now Sleepy Bear taking a ton of damage. Toronto get blown up. The Verdant Sphere Gravity Labs not able to get there in time to keep them off. And that is another kill there for Tempo Storm. Really looking for engagements and really looking for fights. And I'm really enjoying the change. Well, they've got to be careful. Zix coming in, trying to contend against this siege camp. It hasn't been captured just yet. The Condemn is out. Percival is going to be forced off point. But level 10 was picked up. The Mighty Guys forces RFS back. And you can see now Tempo Storm starting to come in. The Heroic starting to come out. Tiger GK rotating down. Level 10 still not here. Sleepy Bear in a lot of trouble. Is going to go down. Toronto going down. Percival in a little bit of trouble. Thompson, nice spear there. Is he going to get the takedown? Slam comes in. Takes down Johanna. RFS was able to get disengage, but a slight experience advantage in favor of Tempo. But RFS actually defended that very well. And we, er, excuse me, Ethics is coming in. And you can see the stun coming down. The cleanse now going out onto Tomster. But the Sundering going to help spread that living bomb. The chain bomb goes out. Starfall has come down. Phoenix is there. But the choke point not able to hold on to it. Zix taking a ton of damage there on Meriden. But I'm not sure if they're going to be able to secure that kill. The nice stun does move. catch at the end. Stun. Avatar has been popped. Gravity Lapse goes down. The follow-up kill, but Percival using the iron skin. Is there going to be a heal available? It is, and Johanna able to get away, but a nice kill by RFS. The ending of that fight was well played, but the or about the middle was. Ballstack comes in from behind, looking for the Gus. But a mighty Gus comes in. Tom's are very low. Divine Palm was used there beautifully. You can see staying alive. Divine Shield coming out onto Needham. Nesper going to be the first to fall, and you can see Goku staying in, trying to do some damage. RFS very low right now. The stun coming down. Nice Lunar Flare. But Needham going to go down with a beautiful Force Wall from KO. Percival, the next to fall on Johanna. Ethics out of position there. Going to get caught out. Can he stay alive? He does. Sleepy Bear got to get back. They've got to be very careful. Sleepy Bear is there too. And will he fall? I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Has to pop Avatar. Will he, will he make it wait? Kel'Thas goes down. Yeah, Kel'Thas goes down. Centering coming out. And this is a huge advantage right now for Tempo. The stun coming out. But the cleanse is there. Tempo is now assaulting them. Mighty Gust has come in. Tops are very low on health. Starfall keeping the members very low of Tempo down. Nesper going to go down as Thrall is dead. We do see the Divine Shield being popped on Sleepy Bear. Uther, Tyrande both go down. Percival, the only one surviving. Ghost Uther going to be able to keep him alive. But this is going to be another Dragonite for Tempo. Is a little bit earlier. Yeah, but RFS does an excellent job of taking advantage of that. Usually when you delay, we really say there's no point in delaying unless your team is getting out of some, something out of it. And they do get something out of it there. But Nesper is about to go down. The healing from Frostful, uh, Frostful Trait. And yeah, now we see Zix diving in back. He was able to use his avatar to stay alive. Thrall and Tyrande both go down. Goku flying over, and the damage is coming out. Need him there. Iron skin was popped, but a beautiful force wall from KO helping to secure that kill. That is a full wipe there. Yeah, and you can see Tiger JK getting the boost. Needham getting so low! Oh, Needham staying alive. The Phoenix is going out. The Sundering coming down. Starfall is doing a ton of damage. The shift out by Tassadar. The Divine Shield having to be used on to Kael'thas. The shields are down. Tiger JK continuing to assault the core. That Dragonite getting down very quickly. But 50% of the core, and they are on it. Thompson continuing to do damage. 30% Thompson, and he survived. 20% on the core. One member of Tempo goes down, 10%, 5%, and that is game. Tempo able to take down the core and take the series two to nothing. The season marksman change, where you get the activatable, plus executioner, those two alone is 60% attack speed bonus.